let us try to solve this question calculate the mass of urea required for making 2.5 kg of 0.25 molal aqueous solution okay now now you are you have to get a foothold somewhere and that foothold is this okay 0.25 molal what does that mean you first interpret that what does it mean 0.25 molal solution solution implies implies that it implies that 0.25 molal solution implies that we have 0.25 mole of urea urea in 1000 grams of water this is what it means now what is the molecular weight of urea that is N2 H4 CO is it not N2 H4 CO <coughs> that is equal to 2 into 14 plus 4 into 1 plus 1 into 12 plus 1 into 16 now that gives me 28 plus 4 12 and 16 is 28 so that is equal to 60 okay so 0.25 mole of urea 0.25 mole of urea is 25 percent of that so 16 to 0 0.25 which is equal to 15 grams correct thus so the solution contains what 1000 grams of water and 15 grams of urea for it to be 0.25 molal now what happens thus 100 plus 15 grams of solution contains contains 15 grams of urea is it not so 1 gram of solution contains 15 upon 1015 gram of urea and we want 2.5 kg of that solution okay 2.5 kg of that aqueous solution so that is 2500 grams of solution contains 15 upon 1015 into 2500 correct so that that should give us 203 and 500 okay and what is it what do we get so we get 15 into 500 hmm? 15 into 500 hmm? 15 into 500 divided by 203 so that gives you 36.95 right 36.94 so that gives me 36. 94 gram of urea you understand it becomes pretty simple <clears throat> if you go by the unitary method and get a foothold somewhere correct so and your foothold is what the foothold is just interpreting what that molal solution means that's all I have done nothing else nothing nothing else the foothold is Foothold is what? The definition of
polarity here okay nothing else if it was some say say so much molar <coughs> now I, I i make a question out of this question after you have done this tell me what is the molarity of this solution can you can you tell me the molarity of this solution <coughs> Yeah, so density has to be. Hmm. Let us say the density is one point So, can we find out the molarity of it? Yes. 